Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. So today, we are going to be leveling up our desynthesis jobs in Final Fantasy XIV. This is pertaining to all eight crafter jobs. Now, we are going to be doing Elrond Reborn, Heaven's Ward, Stormblood, Shadowbringers, and then Endwalker. So this is going to be a very long series, hopefully being done over the next few months, since it's going to be taking me a while to level up all my crafter jobs as well as my gatherers because I'm going to be needing a lot of crafting in order to get the items I need for desynthesis. So this is a very long and hard process. Alright, so we are going to start off with Carpenter. Now Carpenter and Alchemist are the hardest in my opinion to do because there's very little items that we can create to desynthesize. Armorer, leather worker. Weaver and Goldsmith are the easiest, since a lot of dungeons drop those specific items. And Culinarian is the face roll easy, because all you need is level 30 Culinarian, and then a Fisher, because you'll be synthesizing fish for Culinarian. So in order to unlock the synthesis, you need to get all your crafters to at least level 30, because after that, you don't really need anything higher. But at level 30, you will get the quest gone to pieces. So, if you go to Ulda, go to the Sapphire Exchange, right about here, it will be Gone to Pieces quest. So make sure you do that at level 30. Now, there are two items that you can use to increase your desynthesis gain. That is Bacon Broth, high quality, which gives you plus 20, and Tinker's Calm, which gives you plus 40, for a combination of 60. So make sure you guys pop both of these while you're desynthesizing. So I've already went ahead and made a bunch of items for Carpenter. So I went with Mabel Logs and then I started making the Paladin Weapons at level 28 and then I have a couple at level 34 and then in the 40s since those were the easiest ones to make because all you needed was Lumber, the Obsidian, and then I uh, think for the level 40 ones, just wildfire, foul feathers. So these were the easiest ones to do. All right, so I'm going to synthesize a couple of these first, and then we're going to go fast forward and continue with the second half of the items that I have. This way you guys can just get through this real quick because it does take a while to desynthesis everything. So let's pop the food, which lasts for a half hour, and then the medicine which lasts for 10 minutes, so we have to work fast. Once you have reached uh, 50 experience points above the item that you're desynthesizing, once you hit like uh, 51 points, the item will no longer give you any experience points, so you're going to have to go up a couple levels to regain experience. So at level 1, if you hit level 51 in your desynthesis skill, you will not give any experience points from level 1 items. So you're going to have to go up to either level 2, 10, 15, 20, or whatever, and then go 50 from there. Alright, so that's why we're only going to be doing this for a couple of times, and then we'll go up to the next item. So what you can do, instead of going to each item, go into the actions and traits, general, and come down here and it'll give you the list automatically. So you guys can go through here. So let's start at the bottom. So when it is orange, you have a chance of getting a rare material. But that's only for end game stuff, so don't have to worry about that. Alright, so with all that buff look, we ended up getting 5.20 experience points. That is amazing. So this is the first time doing this, so the experience points will differ based on RNG. So this one we got 3.84. And also there's a challenge log for desynthesizing as well. Alright, so I'm going to start desynthesizing all these and then we'll speed it up and then we'll get to the next item. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a bit.
Alright guys, so we just managed to desynthesize, I think, over 30 maple clogs. And we are now sitting at the synthesis skill of 49.50. So, from level 1 items, we almost gained 50 experience points just from that. Which is not bad. So now, I can now move up to my second item, which is the Elm Paladin or Gladiator Weapons. So now I can start desynthesizing these. Alright, so let's go back into my menu. And let's start desynthesizing these. So that was the last of the swords. So now we are looking at 74.29 experience. All right. So now they were all done with that. As you can see here, we started getting demi materia. These are the special items that I told you about when you start desynthesizing items. You can get uh, red ones, which are, are for battle gear only, blue ones, which are for crafters and gatherers only. Or the clear ones, which is basically just for guild. You also get your materials and your shards back. So luckily for me, I got all the wind shards that I blew on all these crafts. And now the last one. So because we're getting to the threshold, we're only getting a few points, but that's basically about it. All right, so we got to what we need to be, which is skill level of 90.42. Now the highest I'm level of a Realm Reborn was 130, but that's going a little bit overboard because Heaven's Ward, like I said, the crafting and gathering gear starts around level, I'm level 90. And then the rest for Battle Gear goes to 115. So this is a good stopping point from a Realm Reborn. Alright guys, so that is how you get your Desynthesis skill for Carpenter from 1 to 90 in a Realm Reborn. Next, I'm going to be doing Blacksmith. Once I get it to around level 50, we will do Blacksmith next. If you guys want to raise your level up even further, the next best thing I would recommend is going through the poetic weapons or going through the extra uh, extreme hard mode primals they will drop coffers which you can use on specific jobs to get you specific weapons for specific crafter jobs so mostly dragoon spears do come in carpenter so if you want to desynthesize those you can go into those fights on sync to raise your item level even further but it's completely unnecessary because you can just go straight into heaven's ward Alright, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, 
please put them in the comment section down below. I've been more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. It's where you guys never miss an upload. And follow me on my Discord server by hitting the world icon on my YouTube banner. I also have YouTube memberships available for anybody who wants to support my channel monetarily. Both are completely optional. So until next time, if you're ever walking in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. And always remember, keep forging ahead. Happy desynthesizing.